Are you looking for a show-stopping holiday decoration you can make at home? In this video, I'll show you how to create a stunning festive paper lantern using the Cricut machine, gold metallic cardstock for that extra shine, and soft vellum for a cozy, glowing effect. It's the perfect blend of elegance and holiday cheer, and I'll guide you step by step so you can create one of your own. Hey everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. Let's jump into Cricut Design Space and get started. All right, so we are in Cricut Design Space on my iPad. I have already downloaded the software or uploaded the software into Cricut Design Space. So we will go ahead and click Upload, Open Uploaded Images. I will choose my lantern, add it to the canvas, and then View. So the first thing we need to do is make sure this comes in at the correct size. And that should be 11 and a quarter inches long by five and a quarter inches tall. If your file did not come in at that correct size, then just come down to edit. Make sure your height and width aspect ratios are locked and then put in the correct size. So now we're gonna come over to the layers panel and we will ungroup everything. And I only have two items on this file. I have the ornament lantern itself, and then I have what will eventually be the score lines. Now, if I was just working with regular cardstock, I would at this point change these from the basic cut to the score. However, because I am working with metallic cardstock, it is much thicker than regular cardstock. And when I did my initial cut on this, just to see if I could even cut these intricate ornaments with it, um, it did score, but it did not take the score line to the back of the metallic cardstock. So I need to have the Cricut score this at least two times. And that's what we're gonna do. So I will go ahead and duplicate them. So now that we have the lines duplicated, um, I always have a problem moving them with my mouse. So I'm just going to use my Apple Pencil. And I am just going to slide them over and they will snap into place. So I will, since they're already highlighted, let's go ahead and come over to edit basic operations and change it from a cut to a score. And we will apply that. And then I will highlight the second group of lines come over to operation again, and click score. And now to make sure that those score lines are in the proper place, we will highlight everything and attach it together. So now we'll come up to make it. I will save my project, ornament lantern and I will save that to the cloud. I will be cutting this on a 12 by 12 mat. And then I will click Next. I will select my accessory, which is my Cricut Explore Air 2. I am going to cut this with heavy cardstock. And now we will get our mat ready and send this through the Cricut. All right, so let's go ahead and get our Cricut mat ready to go. Um, I have a 12 by 12 piece of gold metallic card stock and I just cut that down to six inches by 12 inches. And I do apologize for the glare. I know it is going to be horrific. Um, my mat is not very sticky, 
So I definitely want to make sure I use the brayer to get that down as well as possible. And then I'm going to bring in some painter's tape as well. So I can ensure that this is not going to shift during the cutting process. So if you are working with the Explore series crickets, um, then you will need the scoring stylus like this. Um, if you're working with the Maker series, I believe uh, you can use the scoring wheel. Um, I'm not familiar with that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put this into slot A. And then we will run this through and I'll be back with you when it's done. All right, so it looks like that cut perfectly. So let's go ahead and take our tape off. And if you do get tape left on your actual piece, just carefully peel it off. And as always, we want to turn our mat over and peel the mat away from our paper or vinyl or faux leather or whatever you're using. I will put that aside and clean that up later. This, wow, this cut, so nice. Get all that off of there. And it looks like, well, it's, it's hard to see, but the score lines haven't deepened a whole lot. Um, this is the first one I did, and I'm going to try and show you. There's a score line right here. You can just kind of sort of see it. And this same score line might be a little heavier, might not. Um, I'm not exactly sure how well that's going to fold. So I am going to bring in my trusty scoreboard and I'm just going to deepen that just ever so much because I really want to make sure that this cardstock folds perfectly. So I'm just going to line these up and they won't line up perfectly. I know that. But as long as I don't move it, it should be fine. And then I already went in there. And then hopefully you can see that that has deepened the score line even more. Um, that is hard to see. Uh, so I, I may or may not put um, pictures up on the blog post. We'll, we'll see. But now what we need to do is we need to fold this. So I will carefully work this fold. And then I'm going to help it along with my bone folder. And we do want to make sure that this is as straight as possible. I always worry about these folds here by the, the front because I don't want to accidentally rip anything, but I do want to make sure that they get folded as perfectly as possible. So I'm just going to keep working it ever so gently until I can get it flat. All right, and then we have one less fold to do.
And again, I want to work this gently so as not to bend it in the wrong place. All right. So there is one thing that I noticed uh, while I was cutting this file. Um, I do not have a cut for the vellum. Um, I will definitely add that to the file. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and measure this out and cut a piece myself. So this whole area here is about three and three quarters inches wide from score line to score line. But we want to pull that back just a bit so that it will continue to fold. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my vellum at about three and five eighths inches wide. And this is five and a quarter inches tall. So I will cut it oh, approximately five and an eighth. So three and five eighths inches. by about five and an eighth. Now let's double check that. And we can always trim this up if we have to, because we don't want it hanging off the side. So in order to attach this, I am going to, what do I want to do? Do I want to use score tape or do I just want to use glue? I think I'm going to use a little bit of score tape around the edge of my vellum. And then I will use glue on the inside. So I want this as close to the edge as possible. And then I will use my pokey tool to remove the paper backing. And if you have any score tape that's hanging over the edge, just fold it back on top of itself and that will stay out of your way. And now let's get our art glitter glue out. And I'm just going to put a little bit of art glitter glue on these ornaments just so we can tack down the vellum so nothing will come up. And again, we don't want too much glue on it because we don't want our vellum to buckle. But we want to make sure that there is enough that none of these pieces will come up. And then I will put a little bit on top of the score tape which will give me a little bit of wiggle room.
And then we will line this up. And there we go. We have that on there. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for just a few moments. And then we will come back and finish our project. Okay, now that our glues had a chance to dry just a little bit, um, now it's time to do the most difficult part for me. And that is gluing this little quarter inch piece to the side. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to take off a little corner of it so it won't be quite so bulky. So we will do that on both sides. And I am just using my Cutter B scissors for that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of eighth inch score tape on the edge there. And again, I do apologize for the glare on this paper. Um, while it is incredibly beautiful and it is going to add an elegance to this project, working with it is not fun because of the glare. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the paper backing off of that. And again, I'm gonna put some glue on there. And I'm gonna put quite a bit on here this time because I want a lot of time to work with this. Okay, so. Now, let's bend that down a little bit get the glue off my fingers. And then we're just going to line it up. Oh, come on. Talk to ourselves a little bit. Now, if we do get a little bit of glue on the cardstock itself, it will, it will come off pretty easily. And I think, I think that will be fine. And then I will use my Teflon foam folder and just run down the seam on the inside just to make sure everything gets adhered properly. And that looks pretty good. Actually, that is perfect. We'll just square it up a little bit there. And there is our festive ornament paper lantern. Now I do have some battery operated flicker candles. I guess I don't have one with the pull tab taken out already. So it will flicker a little bit. 
And I know this is going to be hard to see, so I will just kind of hold it in there for you so you can kind of get an idea of it. And I will definitely get some pictures later this evening after it gets dark. But yeah, that turned out very pretty. So thank you so much for joining me for today's festive ornament paper lantern tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make some of these for your own home. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Until then, have a great day, you guys. Bye.